everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. I am Heather and I appreciate you being here. I am going to do my very best to keep this video short and sweet, but also making sure that you have all the information that you would need for this style. I will tell you that this is not a brand new style. It's not a brand new color either. This is a style by Gabor. It is called Opulence in the color Dark Chestnut. I have never had this color or seen this color, but I partnered with a local wig shop. They are called The Wiggery, and they asked me to review this piece for them. So here we are, and let me tell you, this color is yummy. I love this color. It's beautiful, and um, yeah, I really like it. So anyways, let me start by saying I'm just going to give you um, some starter points for this wig. This wig has a lace front. It has a left mono part. It has a two inch nape, that's gonna be short. It has hardly no permatees in this. I will tell you that the only spots that I found permatees are gonna be right here and a little bit at the crown. There's no permatees anywhere else. So let me go ahead and spin so you can actually see what this looks like from all sides. That way when I'm speaking about this wig, you will know what I'm talking about. This right here is my left. Beautiful style, beautiful color. I will tell you that I get good coverage with this. There's the lace front. The ear tabs are right there. If you have seen my videos in the past, you will know that I talk about ear tabs too. I don't like when ear tabs come down on my glasses or below my glasses. I like for the ear tabs to be a little bit shorter and up above my glasses. That's where these are. So just letting you know that in advance. Um, I will tell you that um, this style, one thing I like and appreciate about this style is I feel like it kind of comes in and frames my face. It actually frames my jawline. Now, I will tell you that not every person prefers that, and that's fine because we all like things differently. We don't see colors the same. We don't see styles the same. We don't see anything the same. So, just keep that in mind that not everybody likes everything that I like and vice versa. But I just wanted to point that out in case you are somebody that's like me and you like things that kind of frame that jawline and face, you know, uh, you know, the sides, your cheek area. Also, I want to be sure I tell you that depending on what your measurements are, that will be, that will play a part in where this falls on your face. So if you have same or similar measurements as what I do, then just, just know that that's possibly where it could hit you. But because our head shapes, faces, circumferences, all that stuff is all different, um, just remember that. So if you get this style and it does not lay or fit you like it does me, I want to be sure you understand that measurements and facial shapes and styles all play a part in how styles lay and fit us. So anyways, please keep that in mind. So it's a very cute style. I really like to, let me just point this out. I really like it when I see a wig, get a wig, try a wig on, and it lays so natural in the crown area. I have tried on wigs before where I feel like that possibly the fibers were not sewn in correctly or something. Something's just different. And it could be the shape of my head too. But I don't like it when fibers just lay all forward and then you have like the crown area that falls just straight flat or I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But just let me tell you that this, I feel like, lays very natural. It has just like a little bit of height right here. And then it just kind of falls in place and looks very nice. Now, with this right here, I will tell you with the bang area, you will probably have to train the bang area to some degree because it's not, I'm not gonna say it's bang heavy, but that bang does seem, if you are a type, of, you know, if you type or you're writing or whatever, work in an office, that bang area seems like it does wanna kind of fall forward just a little bit. So you're gonna have to train that bang 
to keep it back. I'm gonna put a probably a little bit of product in here. And you do have a beautiful lace front. So pulling this off of the face is still gonna look very nice, very natural, but just keep that in mind. You know, if you love this style, you might have to, you know, work with that uh, bang area a little bit. It's a very, it's very doable. It's not something that just means that the wig is defective or anything. It's just something that we have to do. We have to train the bang area. Sometimes we have to use a little product, whatever, just so you know that that could be a little bit heavy right in through here. Although it's a cute style. I really love it. So anyways, um, very nice. It has natural movement. Very cute lightweight. I feel like the fibers are not heavy at all. They're kind of, you know, light and feathery. I love the feel of the fiber too. It's soft. It's not scrunchy, crunchy, you know, nothing like that. Um, but they, the fibers are so soft and they're silky. Uh, this wig is brand new out of the box. I have not done anything to it. Just ran my hands through it to kind of see where that permatease was. And it's just right in through here and right here. Let me take it off so you can have a look at it. And I think I'm, if I didn't already tell you, I love the way that that nape, um, it looks so realistic too. I love, in the nape area, I love when hair is um, not sparse, but it actually, uh, it's been thinned out and it looks realistic and not heavy back there. This looks amazing, I feel like. Before I show you the underside of the cap, I wanted to try to show you. Let me make sure I have it in the front. Okay, so this right here is the front. This right here would be the left. So you can kind of see how that just flows. This is the back. So right here is the crown area. So that's where I was talking about where it flows. And I got it kind of there. So I, I just love how that flows right there. The color is amazing too. And there you can kind of see how it flows. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You can actually see down into the um, mono part. This is not going to have an extended nape. It's going to just to have your standard nape Velcro adjusters. And you can kind of see that I've cinched that in a little bit. I have a petite to petite average circumference. Here's all the wefts. Here's your ear tab. Nice, bendable stay in there. Soft material that covers that uh, ear tab. Here is your lace front. Your lace front's gonna go from temple to temple. It does not extend down into the ear tab. There is the mono part, and there's that permatease. I feel nothing scratchy anywhere on this wig on the underside. I don't feel anything that irritates my scalp or skin. So I always like to make sure I tell you that too, because often if I feel something that's scratchy, um, it could be irritating the skin. I don't feel anything scratchy anywhere on this wig. Nice, very soft nape. Very, very, very soft. Beautiful style. Like I said, this is called Opulence. It is by Gabor in the color Dark Chestnut. It does have bells and whistles, so the price point is going to be up there just a little bit. But it's worth the price. Beautiful, beautiful style. Don't forget it has a two inch nape. Very pretty. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you have any questions or comments about this um, color, style, whatever, please use the um, comment section below. I will do my very best to answer all your questions. You will find information on the wiggery and the wig in the description box. Please check that out. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.